Did you know that cotton was sent to the International Space Station to study how its growth on Earth can be improved? And did you know that the cotton lint from a single 500-pound bale can produce 215 pairs of denim jeans, 250 single-bed sheets, 750 shirts, 1,200 t-shirts, 3,000 nappies, 4,300 pairs of socks, or 680,000 cotton balls? Cotton is not your average plant. It's been shaping history for over 7,000 years, and the story is far from ordinary. Cotton comes in various colors, shapes, and forms. From super soft, breathable USA Pima cotton to sturdier strains like tree cotton from India, this is a plant of limitless possibilities. From curtains to cooking oil, cosmetics to coffee filters, cotton is a versatile fiber that improves the quality of our everyday lives. Shouldn't you know where it comes from and how it's made? We think so. Seeds are planted in spring in warmer climates, like the Americas, China, India, Australia, and Africa. Nurtured by the sun and rain, they quickly grow into green, bushy shrubs that flower with pink and cream-colored blossoms a few weeks later. Once pollinated, the flowers drop off and are replaced with the fruit, better known as cotton bowls. Each cotton bowl usually contains 27 to 45 seeds, and attached to each of these are between 10,000 and 20,000 tiny fibers about 1.1 inches long. As the bowls mature, they turn brown, and the fibers continue to ripen in the sun until they split apart and burst, which means they are ready to be picked. It's extremely important that cotton is dry when picked to avoid discoloration that reduces quality. Once harvested, the seed cotton makes its way to one of LDC's facilities for ginning, whereby raw cotton fibers and cotton seeds are carefully separated and the fibers tightly pressed into rectangular bales. Ginned and packed, the cotton is then shipped to be spun, dyed, knitted, or woven into fabrics like clothes and home furnishings. Linters, the short cellulose fibers left on the seed after ginning, are used to make items like paper, bandages, swabs, banknotes, cotton buds, and even x-ray film. Even the cotton seeds find new life as an ingredient to produce cooking oil and animal feed. Nothing is wasted. Now you know the incredible journey of cotton, from the fields where it's grown, to the products we rely on every day.